Helping vets transition back into the civilian world, that is the mission of a team called Red, White and Blue, RWB. <laughs> the National Support Group for Veterans has just opened a local chapter here in Dayton. And Anthony Ritchie joins us this morning with more on this. Anthony, you're stationed out at Wright Pat right now, aren't yes, you? Yes, sir. Um, it's a surprise that we don't have a chapter yet, but we're about to, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> is that going to yes, happen sir. within the next month or so? Um, we're hoping that will. Um, right now we're based in Cincinnati. And right now we just call ourselves the Dayton team. Okay. So, so RWB, uh, red, white, and blue, obviously you guys do great things. Basically you're out there doing all kinds of activities, but one of your uh, signatures is, is the triathlons and all kinds of runs where you guys will actually group up and carry an American flag while you're running, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> T tell us how that all started and what, and who's, who's able to join in on the fun. Well, Team Red, White, and Blue's mission is to connect with uh, America's veterans to enrich their lives and connect them to the community through physical and social activity. So uh, basically, we just get together and we build the camaraderie and strong relationships, and it just kind of takes care of itself from, from, from there. So. All right, a true inspirational story is I got to tell you one little side item right now. This guy's sitting right next to me with a broken <laughs> clavicle right now. He broke it during one of the runs and actually finished the race. So there's some pictures from the Dayton event where you kind of tried to get this thing launched here in Dayton and you very successfully did. This was just last Sunday. And now what we want to make sure people know is that even if you're not a veteran, if you're just a civilian, yes, you, know, you can join in, into the group. But your specialty is helping veterans who are just returning from, from serving. Is that right? Yes, sir. Um, actually, over two and a half million troops coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan wars are uh, having uh, difficulties with PTSD. 44% are self-reporting having difficulty reintegrating into the community. So team, team, team Red, White, and Blue is like the boots on the ground that bring, we want to bring them into our organization and give them that sense of family. Anytime you, you, you see vets, you just take them in as, as part of the family. It's not just the, the vets coming back, the PTSD, but you're doing uh, honor flights. You're, put, yes, you're, you're providing them with service dogs, things like that. A lot of good work. And Anthony, thanks so much for joining us. We thanks for having it. me. Good luck with RWB, Red, White, and Blue. More information on uh, Team Red, White, and Blue on Fox45Now.com. Just click on Fox45 in the morning and see how you can help <laughs> out. Uh, take care of that broken shoulder. Right? Yes, sir. Thank right? you. <laughs> Finished a <laughs> triathlon with a broken shoulder.